I got started, basically, I was inspired by, you know, the likes of like Grandmaster Flash. After hearing the adventures of Grandmaster Flash, like I stepped to my man's house and he's in there spinning on turntables. He's like, come here, come here, you, you, gonna, you gonna do this too. He puts me on the turntables and I start spinning. And from that day, I'm hooked. For me, it was like, right, well, let me, let me make sure I'm the best at what I'm doing. It was like, come home every day, practice. You know, drop the book, practice. Mix it was first. <laughs> For hours and hours and hours and hours to perfect my craft. And it just took off. My tapes got passed up around enough that Steady B heard about me and he came to visit, telling me, you know, he needed a DJ. How Steady and I met up, he walked right over to me. He's like, you chat? And I'm like, yeah, he's like, I'm looking for a DJ. And I heard, you know, of you. He, had, he used to walk around with a big boombox and he heard somebody rocking one of my tapes. Somebody that I had given the tape to, you know, because I targeted cats with big radios. And I'd be like, hey, look, here's the tape. I made the tape. Boom. And my name would be in the street. That's how he heard about me. Yeah. Yeah. After the, the whole Steady B situation, word had got out to one of my friends, EST from Three Times Dope, that I had left the hilltop. He was really good friends with Kwame. He basically invited me up to go to New York to this party, salt and pepper party at the time. Kwame was like, yo, what's good hanging out? We should get down, you know, do some music. Basically, it was a great situation because I'm coming from where I was at into his situation, going into the studio, working on tracks. And right after that, with his following, we hit the road. Mind you, we're doing TV shows that you know I never thought of. Fat money. Tat, 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 right? Yeah. <laughs> when you're booking a tat money show, you're definitely gonna get my knowledge of the game. You're gonna get my experience skill level, a party rocker. You're gonna get somebody that reads the crowd and moves the crowd. I'm coming with my A game. Cause uh, being a vet in the game, I know what it's hidden for. I'm gonna give you your money's worth. That's for sure. I'm gonna send them to the bar, they're gonna drink. <laughs> they're gonna sweat it out and they're gonna drink and they're gonna come back to the floor and I'm gonna send them back again. And they're gonna have a good time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Music yeah. is an experience. You're supposed to experience that. So that's what I'm coming for. I'm coming to give you that in your face, live and direct experience, the way hip hop is supposed to be. It's right in your face, like boom. Got my man DJ Tap Money. Club owners book Tap Money. Bring him to your club, he'll tear the joint the fragments. I call it having the party in a frenzy. The crowd going into a frenzy. Me on the mic, rocking the party out, while I'm spinning, maybe five records in a row. If I played those five right records in a row, just the, the right combination. Boom, boom, boom. And that's what I shoot for. You should just feel that, you know, in your soul. And I mean, that's that's really typically where it comes from. It comes from the soul. So rocking the party, it, it's a small thing, like they say, because if you live it, you love it. And if you love it, it should come naturally. So it should just flow. It should be like, all right, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna throw this James Brown record on, you know, boom. And then right behind that, you know, I might rock some Michael Jackson because that's just how I feel right now. And it, it should take you there. Music is, is an adventure. So you, you, you ride that roller coaster ride. You know what I'm saying? It's just you just roll with it. That's a TAT experience.